Okay, welcome to another episode of How to Windows 7. Today we're talking about customizing Windows 7. Now, you may have seen my previous video where I actually showed how to change startup sounds. This is going to be a bit more of a broader video, including stuff like gadgets, icons, all that range. So, we're going to start off with how much can you customize Windows? Now, you can customize Windows like a lot by using third-party software like TuneUp Utilities or Theme Changers, all these. But today we're talking about Windows 7 uh, specific, so we're not going to be going into how to get new theme or well a new kind of style. We're just talking about stuff you can do inside Windows straight away. Now, obviously, if you're connected to the internet, which I I guess you m most of us are, then a great gadget for everyone to have is the weather gadget. Because, in, you know, what you might want the weather really quickly, especially if you use your computer as a media kind of center start, ta st type style and you like to have the weather and stuff up there. Now, this isn't like application, it's just a gadget, it just shows you and it's active. And I don't know how often it up, um, updates, but you can change all of this, so you can Celsius or Fahrenheit, I choose Celsius, location, I live in London, so location is London, and I can also see other weather, now this is one that comes preloaded on the computer, there are ones um, for gadgets, so I can make it small. This is another gadget I just installed. I it's a countdown to the window of, end of Windows XP support. It's not a vital one, and this one is actually quite. I find it quite helpful. It's the CPU usage, um, and I think the RAM usage. I'm not sure the memory usage. So the CPU usage it shows I'm using 14% right now, just recording. 10% uh, now, it changes all the time, mouth, side of mouse movements as well, um, and uh, this is random access, yeah, RAM, this is CPU usage, so 31% of the RAM. Now I've got 6 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm not huge fuss about that. Anyway, so gadgets can be moved around, this isn't like Windows uh, Vista sidebar, these are, there's no application sidebar running or whatever. You can just drag and drop whatever you like. Add a new gadget, just click, right click on your screensaver, hit gadgets. And you can choose from these, or you can get more gadgets online and you can see details as well. Browser the calendar clock. Um, this is one that came with my eBay search feed headlines which track the latest news headlines and Windows Media Center if you're using it as a media center that's great weather of course slideshow power consumption uh, and stuff like that there's a lot online as well so that's gadgets our next thing is we're talking about is icons on the desktop and in the thing itself so if you right click on your desktop you can hit view is where we find all the icon properties now I can have large icons if you know you like having large icons or you find easier but for any reason large icons you know that's there straight away you can also uh, the small icons as well I just prefer the small like Windows XP I just like the medium one now you've also got sort by which is name so it sorts by name, so that didn't mean that much. Um, sort by item type, so folders go here, applications go there, which is quite handy. Recycle bin doesn't move because it's not either. Sort by date modifies. <laughs> refresh, uh, I don't know what the hell the point is, maybe if you change the icon and just refresh it. Um, and then if you also have auto range, align icons to grid, and in default, when those icons are aligned to, oh sorry what I've done is auto arrange icons now this means they're not in a grid sequence which you get like on Macs and on Windows XP default it just means you can move it around a bit more I actually like the grid because it means it's really well organized and I don't have to line it up myself so think of 
grid as like automatic so I like to have them auto arranged as well so they're nice and tidy and aligned to grid so that means when I move I can't move them because I've got auto arrange but basically on auto arrange yeah, you can just move them up and down to so look they're aligned to grid and the last feature is I want to talk about is show desktop icons right, click on that it doesn't show them but you haven't deleted them this is great if maybe you didn't want to show some stuff you have on your desktop or you know just want to have the um, desktop wallpaper the main thing then that's great you can just do that by clicking on that checkbox also you can hide the desktop gadgets after then closing them and having to put them back up Okay, so I guess that's the desktop area sorted. Next, we're going to go to the taskbar area. So, if I right click on the taskbar and hit properties, there's a lot going on here. So, I can lock the taskbar, or I, which means I can't do the snap and drag. The only reason I have this is because I have a toolbar, and it looks a bit funny if you have it unlocked when you have a toolbar. Anyway, I'll talk about that in a second taskbar location I can have it on the top uh, if I hit apply and you can also do that if you have it unlocked if hit apply. you can also do that just for like that which is really cool I just have it at the bottom here yeah. and let's just move the taskbar again now the next thing is taskbar buttons which means if I hit never combine basically it will mean that it's separate so you've got Combine, always combine, hide labels. This is like the old Windows, um, older one. If you don't like, if you're not a fan of it, it's really simple. What, um, if you want it to look older, I'll probably do a video. If you like the way in Windows Vista and Windows XP with the quick launch, I'll show you how to do that in a later video. That's a slightly more complex, not in there. The notification area, which is this area, you can customize that. Mm, I can. Start menu. What the power button? Oh yeah, here we are. Um, and show only show no uh, let's see. only show notifications and yeah, you always show all icons or if I have this checked, it will show all of them. If I uncheck it, which is default, it will come up in this cool thing. I just have it like this because I like to see what is going on and hit OK on that. Start menu now. In this one, you can't change it to the classic start menu anymore. That's gone. You can change stuff like if you want documents, there's a link or a menu, or don't display it, and, and stuff like that. And hit play there. Toolbars. Um, I've got iTunes one, and they've actually in Windows 7 removed the toolbar for media center because when you minimize a like media kind of um media what's it called uh, like spotify for example when you minimize it when it appears down below if you hover over it you can pause and skip to the next track so they kind of thought maybe it's not necessary so i have the itunes one which is why when i unlock the taskbar it has those weird um lines which so i just lock it okay the next thing is um, uh, just changing the folders. So just hit organize and hit folder and search options. Here you can, so we can open new window for this or just that's fine. Show folders, uh, automatic expand to current folders, show all folders, or whatever and this is also other stuff which actually helps a bit um, more as well which means you can always show icons and thumbnails and stuff like that always show menus um, and if you're like one of the people who changes formats and stuff uh, I advise on checking hide extensions for known file types so for example if you have a JPEG file you, or no, let's say you have a RAW file. All you have to do to change that to a .zip file is click on it, and 
uh, after the dot, write in zip, and it will change. And obviously, I'll say, do you want to change? I say yes. So it's a really quick way. Uh, on default, it doesn't, for some reason, show that. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, search. Now, search. This may speed up. If you use search a lot, then, like me, I actually use search quite a lot because I... I'm not, I don't have the most organized machine, let's say, and I'm a bit lazy with finding stuff, and it's there, so I just use it. So index searching means it's indexed, it's filed away. It uses space on your hard drive, but it speeds up the search, but can slow down your computer when because it's using up space. However, for me, I've got loads of space on my hard drive. Well, enough, so it's fine. So, and then there's include subfolders, use my language search, and don't use the index and search. So, if you don't use index, it will speed up your computer but it will slow down the searching. You can change icons by going right clicking on it, properties, and customize, and we'll optimize this folder for. Can choose, uh, choose a file to show the icon so you can choose the picture icon here. Okay, so what else is that? Okay, so next we're going to go to where personalize. Now, this is the huge thing of Windows 7. Now, I love this, is the slideshows, which I mean, it's taken them a while to get it because I think in Leopard, yeah, Leopard had this kind of slideshow. I think Windows 7 one is obviously better than the when um than Lion no sorry, Leopard slideshow. But in Windows Vista you didn't have that slideshow option. So this is really cool. It allows you to have multiple pictures and you can edit what pictures in there really specifically um all shuffle tile even once they're you know tile all the pictures you can what pictures you need clear all select all and also I went over sounds in enough video so windows color you can change it to purple red enable transparency so it's if you don't want to what you do so you have mine no, do you have black or white? Slate. Right, so you stop graphite which will be okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> so Windows color can change and then you have screensaver which can be a picture now I'm not gonna go on screensaver no I think it does record but anyway um, yeah, I can preview it I've got Windows Live photo gallery screensaver or you can do photos and that's just a 3D text one ribbon ribbons which there's no none new at all actually from windows vista it's all the same i believe yeah all the same ribbons i quite like that one no they don't they've taken some away as well they didn't have a raw theme i think that's what's called like so this is my theme lord lols that logo just there and so also there's loads of preloaded ones aero themes which come with it which is quite a lot there's also some, some hidden themes. Now, I'm not going to do a video because there is also PC Wid Kids. You may have heard of them. Um, made a video on this, and it was it's really detailed. So I'm like, there's no point in me making one of it. And you know, basically, there's hidden pictures for themes. I don't know why it's hidden, but you have to find it. Just watch his video. Um, link will be in the description, and you can click on the screen now um, for his video okay and you can get more themes online again so if I click on here and okay. so new themes so there's mot uh, Forza Motorsport, Gears of War you know there's gaming fans you might love that I think they had a horror theme as well most popular you can sort this so city lights and beach some uh, trick or treat I think they actually upload themes quite a lot. Now I used to have NASA space, uh, space spaces, which is really cool. 
they're all really awesome to be honest obviously some might not be you know as good as you think um there's puss in boots uh kung fu panda which i had before you may have seen a video games um the angry birds is amazing now let me just explain why angry birds is like the biggest game well one of the biggest like not the biggest game but it's like huge you know everywhere and the angry birds theme is awesome because it doesn't just give you a bunch of angry bird pictures it changes the color it change i don't think it comes with screen saver but it changes the sound so a startup sound is like like a bird sound uh, which is pretty awesome and i think that's all um there might be a part two if i find any more customizations that's the basics really so thanks for watching guys and get customizing windows 7 so that's my how to windows 7 and the next um new windows 7 how to will be coming out next week or so so thanks for watching guys and if you're feeling nice today remember to hit that like button and subscribe maybe so thanks for watching guys and bye